What's going on everybody? I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating. And today we're going to be talking about how to actually date quality women. And in case you guys are new to my channel, what we do here is that a lot of guys, a lot of you guys come to me and we've getting in so many followers and I'm so grateful to have you guys. But a lot of you guys come to me after a divorce or a breakup, or maybe you just want to be reintroduced back into the dating scene. That's what we do here. We're going to be teaching you guys how to actually attract quality women and have a great relationship with a great woman. So we're going to be taking a step forward today with how to actually date quality women. And and disclaimer, having successful dates used to be like impossible for me until I learned what I'm about to share with you guys. It's critical that you guys know this. It's not a fancy pickup line, right? It's not some gay, lame dating app trick. This is legit shit that you need in order to be successful with women that the dating app gurus won't tell you and the pickup artists don't know because I've never seen a pickup artist in a successful relationship, name one. <laughs> also, I've never seen a red pill geek in a relationship because they hate women. This is not not red pill nonsense. This is quality attracts quality. This is what this is here. And when we talk about nice guys, why they don't win. We'll be talking about standards and why I let little things slip. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with standards a little bit. This is my story and also some of my clients' stories on how they attracted their dream relationship and what you can do now. So the first thing and arguably one of the most important things is you got to put yourself first. Nice guys put themselves last. Most of you guys watching me put yourselves last. You need to start putting yourself first. Quality attracts quality. I can't say it enough. You can't date quality if you put yourself last. A lot of divorced men come to me. A lot of guys who went through a breakup, you guys come to me and you want help and you overthink, you're too nice and you know something has to change but you're too afraid to take the leap, right? Like most guys are like, they, they're like, I know something has to change but then they don't do anything about it. It's like literally Einstein said, he's like the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Something that is so bad for masculine energy in men is staying in the gray zone. By the way, if you hear thunder outside, I don't know if the mic can pick it up or not, but it's thundering outside. So you hear bangs, <laughs> that's what that is. But most guys come to me, they're too nice. When you know something has to change, quit sticking yourself in the gray zone. It's gonna make yourself miserable by sitting there thinking that, oh, I'm just gonna sit in the gray zone and think about it. No, dude, it's terrible for a man to do. It's just like you will mess your life up if you put yourself in the gray zone. When you know something clearly has to change, you need to take action, right? There's some quote, I forget how it fucking goes, but it basically says, messing up action is greater than inaction or something like that. That. Like taking steps in the right direction, but stumbling is better than just sitting there and doing nothing. That's basically what the premise is of that. <laughs> I'll figure out the quote. I'll get back to you guys on that. But if you're still going through a divorce, it's not settled yet. You have lawyer fees. Don't date yet. <laughs> don't fucking date. Come on, man. Like just don't do that to yourself and don't do that to the woman and just come back to my page. We'll be ready for you when you're ready to get back on your feet, right? Quality men take action, especially when they know something has to change. Do not date yet. If you're broke, you're struggling, check the check. And especially if you're cheap, man, like you will never be able to date if you're worried about paying for a date, right? Like you will never be able to date if you're worried about paying for a date. No girl is going to magically complete you. You have to put in the work on yourself, man. Like you got to put in the work on you. And that's exactly what we do in my program. We start with putting the work on you first in you. Literally yesterday, I made a client tracking sheet. It's fucking beautiful. It's literally, it labels an exact map of where most people start and the exact map of what you need to do next in order to get to that quality relationship. It's beautiful. I'm so proud of it, dude. Like my clients are going to get extremely great results now. But it's because like they're taking action, they're putting the work on themselves. Something about me too, this is where we're gonna get into the juice of it, is that what I learned is that women perceive you how you perceive yourself. So if you perceive yourself as if you aren't worthy to date a quality woman, whenever you put in your head that, oh, I'm talking to this girl is quality right here, I would definitely date her or fuck her or sleep with her or marry her or whatever the case is. Now that you've labeled her as a quality woman, you've basically told yourself, oh, like I don't deserve a quality woman. So now every single thing that you do, how you talk, your tonality, what you say, how you act, what you do to her, what you say to her, it is gonna come from a place that you don't deserve her. And she is gonna pick up on these cues and she's gonna be like, huh, well, he's acting like he doesn't deserve me, so I'm gonna just accept that and just treat him as if that's true. But if you perceive yourself as if like, she's not good enough for you, now every single thing that you say and do is gonna come from a place of, I don't know, baby, do you think you can handle me? Do you think you deserve me? It is a completely, it's, a, it's such a simple shift in your mindset, but it makes such a huge fucking difference. And I'll show you why is that this was me back in 2017. Super nice on the left, bullied, people taking advantage of me. Literally I had people that would steal 
that like borrowed money from me and they never returned it, right? Some of my friends in my friend group. But it got to the point where I was like, you know what? Like, why am I tolerating this behavior, right? Because I was coming from a place of like, oh, I need these friends in my life or else I'm gonna be lonely. Therefore, like they believed like, yeah, I could just take money from this dude and he ain't gonna do shit about it. He's just always gonna be just like a fucking slave, basically. A loyal fan to us, basically. And I got to the point where I was like, why the fuck am I tolerating this? Like, I want such a greater life, right? I want a better life. I literally talk about this in my best-selling book. If you guys have not read my fucking book yet, I understand if you just sort of follow me a couple days ago, but if you've been following me for over a week or two, like, come on, dude, take fucking action and read the goddamn book. Like, I can't put it more clear than that. <laughs> you must like pain if you're not reading the book yet. But I got to a point where I was just like, why am I tolerating this behavior from not only my friends, but like women in general that were rejecting me and leaving me on scene. And I was still liking their Instagram posts and liking their Facebook posts, thinking that, oh yeah, like if I just show them that I'm there enough, they're gonna fall in love with me. I'm like, why should I give a fuck? Like if you're treating me like shit, why should I give a single fuck about you. And like, I know it sounds harsh, but like, that's me putting myself first. And eventually I got to the point where I was like, you know what? If you guys don't return this money by Monday at noon or whatever I said, I said, I'm cutting you guys off. I'm never going to speak to you guys again. You guys can get fucked and get lost. I don't care. They didn't respond to it. They they, call, they tried to call my bluff. And so Monday came around. I was like, well, you know what? A masculine man is congruent to his words. They were getting on a jet, going on some vacation. They probably have my fucking money, right? <laughs> never returned it. I was like, you know what? It was a great lesson. At least I learned that now versus now that I'm in business, making a lot of money, serving a lot of clients have a million followers online, right? At least I learned that lesson back in the day with like 500 bucks or whatever, because it's a valuable lesson that some people and most people have to learn the hard way. I was broke back in this day too. You can just look in my eyes. You could tell I was too nice. You could tell that I just didn't believe that I was good enough. And this came out in my thoughts and actions, right? And especially I did not know natural attraction. Natural attraction is literally the core foundation of attracting a quality woman. After I learned natural attraction, I started dating beautiful women. I got my dream relationship right here with Brittany. That picture is actually up here in case you guys can see it barely peeking out in the corner there. But got my dream relationship. We're swimming with dolphins. We're actually going back to Cabo this year sometime. Next week, we're actually going on a road trip in the desert. It's gonna be fucking awesome, man. But I have an amazing business now. I'm serving over 100 clients in my program, consulting them and helping them really win their dream relationship. Wrote a best-selling book. Like I'm getting in my peak health shape. I feel amazing. I'm 10 out of 10 confident, surrounded by high level people, coaching men across the world. Like my life, Life is fucking amazing. And I don't say that to sit here and brag. Like I went through shit, dude. I had to go through the hard shit. And that's why I teach this stuff is I went through the hard shit. So a lot of guys don't have to go through the hard shit. And this is me now, like seven years later, absolutely crushing it. But I had to realize that natural attraction, a lot of it is that women perceive you how you perceive yourself. And you need to make a change on your confidence because everything starts with a thought and it comes out in action, how you talk, what you do, how you act. And then that influences your results. And then your results go back and influences your mindset. And so it could either go on a very negative negative loop or can go in a very positive loop very, very quickly if you do it right. And that's what I learned about natural attraction. This is how I went from here. Broke, right? Getting rejected, going on a date with a woman and she'd be like, yeah, I'm just not interested right there. I was like a fucking dagger in the heart, right? And now I'm in my dream relationship. It's like, you guys need to learn natural attraction and get off the fucking dating apps if you want to actually succeed with dating. Number three, again, you need to develop natural attraction. I used to struggle with self-worth. People would walk all over me. I could never date quality. After I learned natural attraction, women started to notice me. I wasn't invisible anymore. I could attract them easily. Easily. But it starts with changing you and leveling up your confidence. And then after we learn those attraction skills, dude, like once you combine those two things, holy shit, like you are just gonna be a beast like these guys below. But you have to know like why women test you, how to respond, how to build that mystery, right? Show her that you're masculine, really create these flirty comebacks. It's gonna make your friends are gonna be like, how the fuck is he doing this? Like literally Nick in my program, great dude, literally built his house from scratch, has a great career, I believe in construction. And he was like, you know what? Like I have all the missing pieces in my life. And he came to me and he's like, dude, I have all the missing pieces. Quality relationship is next. I'm ready to put all of my focus on that and learn this stuff. Got him in my program. We started coaching him. Literally got his dream relationship in three fucking months. Like was super nice at the, at the start, right? After he learned natural attraction, boom, dream relationship three months later. It's that easy. Collide too. Went through two really toxic breakups. Comes in my program. Literally my program now, we just raised the price to 5K by the way. So all the people that were like, oh, uh, we, uh, the program price is 5K. It's 8K on my website. If you hop on a call with me, it's 5K. You can also break that 5K down to like as little little as like 170 bucks a month, dude. Like if you can't even afford 170 bucks a month to work on this stuff, you shouldn't be fucking dating at all. Okay. And that's just the facts with a firm that what you break it down to, I think like seven, six or $700 per month for six months. There's another one that's like three or 400 per month for 12 months. And another one for 173 bucks for 36 months. Like if you can't do that, you should not be dating, right? Like if you can't afford 5k, like you should not be dating women right now. Cause you are going to be very, very stressed out. But Kalai had to do that option, right? He broke it down. He started working. He's like, dude, I know something has to 
change. I'll do whatever it takes to work. I'll fill out this. It takes like two minutes to get approved by a firm. Like you just need like a decent credit score. Boom. Now he's talking to a quality woman, probably going to get into a relationship. Like it's literally that easy, but you have to learn natural attraction. You can be in a relationship in one to two months from now. If you do everything I tell you to do in the program with a really great, beautiful, quality woman, but you have to take the first steps to change. And in case like you guys want to do my program and you're wondering about that, there's a call link in the description below. It's Calendly. It's like the first link under the description that I talk about the SEO description. So calendar link, book in a call with me, hop on a call with me. We'll get you going in the program. If you have to break it down, we'll talk about that on the call and get it going on the call literally, but only hop on the call. If you're serious, you actually have a decent income and you're actually ready to change the stuff. Then hop on that call with me. If you guys want to ask me questions about the program or you want to know more about it, then DM me on Instagram. That link is also in the description below. Just tell me you're directly from YouTube since we get a lot of guys that come from our channel. So I'll prioritize if you guys say you're from YouTube, but I'm Sully Kim, America's face of dating. Make sure you like comment down below any questions or any comments you guys really have. Maybe I'll make it into a video. I'll see you guys next time.